Many people are preoccupied today with making this world a better place through politics, through changing the environment or making the environment clean, through world peace, through protesting and getting involved in all the, these other kind of causes and things like this. But Jesus Christ never taught us to make this world a better place. He never taught us to make a fallen, sinful, demonic world that is going to perish and be burnt up with fervent heat. He never taught us to make this fallen world a better place. There's always going to be wars, and it's going to be worse with wars, like the scripture says. There's always going to be abortions, and there's always going to be all this evil, and as a matter of fact, the wicked are going to wax worse. And there's nothing we can do to change any of this, because... The scripture says that everything is going to be burnt up with fervent heat. With fervent heat and all these elements that we see, everything physical we see in this world is going to be burnt up. And it's going to melt. And there's nothing we're going to be able to do to stop it. No amount of protesting is going to stop it. No amount of getting involved in politics and foolish causes are going to stop it. Everything that's going to come to pass is written in scripture and everything that's coming to pass is in the most high God's hands and there's nothing we can do to stop that. Now, there is something we can do to make this world a better place. The only thing we can do is lead people to Jesus Christ while there's still time. We may not be able to stop abortions. But we could stand outside of them, pray for those the lost women outside of them, and minister to them and preach the gospel to them so they may repent and be saved. So they may come to the truth of Jesus Christ and so they may turn from abortion. Because no amount of protesting outside of these abortion clinics, no amount of protesting outside of the White House or any, co uh, any government building for that matter is going to change any of these w wicked people who have power on this earth. Any of these wicked people who are given these kingdoms by Satan, none of them are going to change any of their wicked agendas or plans. And everything is in the Lord's hands. He has control over everything. He even has control over Satan. And we know that the world is going to wax worse and that things are going to get worse and all this will come to pass. But what matters for us is what's eternal, not what we see in this physical realm, not all these elements we see with our physical eyes because we know it's all going to perish and be burnt up. Even these vessels, these bodies we live in, they're going to be burnt up and destroyed as well. The only things that matter are the eternal souls and spirits in this world. And this is why we must really be focused on bringing the kingdom of God to this earth and spreading the kingdom of God. This is how we make the world a better place, by bringing people to Jesus Christ and by bringing the rest of his sheep into his fold. This is what really matters for us as disciples of Jesus Christ. It's not getting involved in politics or any of these causes on earth or anything like that. It's bringing people to Jesus Christ and by casting out demons and healing the sick. 
because this is what Jesus Christ taught us to do. He taught us to be a light to this world. He told us uh, to be a lamp on the table so that the rest of the world may see and they may be drawn to Jesus Christ so they may be saved. Because that's what what's eternal, what really matters. And we should set our affections on things above, not things on this earth. Because everything on this earth is going to perish, including the earth itself. And this world will really become a better place after the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, when he sets up a new earth. That's when the world will become a better place. But right now this world is fallen and it's a sinful demonic world. And if we try to do things in the flesh by trying to change things physically, it's all in vain and none of it glorifies God. None of it brings glory to God and none of it brings anyone to Jesus Christ. What really matters for us is spreading the kingdom of God on this earth. And uh, anyway, I wanted to make this quick video. Hope you guys have a blessed night. I'll talk to you later.